Hey friends, Billy from LM Cases here, and today we're gonna to take a look at a very cool stage manager's console that we just finished up. Uh, so this particular project is designed for a stage manager to sit behind and call a show. Um, this is an installed product, so meaning it's, it's blacked out, it's meant to blend into a backstage environment. Um, and one of the cool things about this particular case is it is in two independent sections that are designed to be joined together. Um, so right now they're shown in their joined configuration. However, if you do need to separate this, uh, the two sides come apart. So before we get into the features about this case, I do wanna show how the two sides are joined together and, uh, and how they work as one unit. So, Okay, so right now we're looking at each side separated. Um, and the way that these are joined together is that what we're calling the return side of the case has these threaded nutserts in, uh, in this side. So uh, looking at the control portion, uh, there are some cable passages. And then looking at this return side, uh, this storage compartment is empty. Uh, so if you do want to use this as storage, you can. Um, and then also, if you want to use this as an independent side, there are handles in there. Uh, so if you look at the uh, right-hand portion of this, there are cable passages, top and bottom. And then the way that these are joined together with the nut inserts, we'll just open our drawer here. Uh, the drawers are joined together with these threaded bolts. Uh, so this is a steel threaded bolt with a knurled end. So all you have to do is slide this through the side and, uh, and, and it, will, it will join the cases. So if you're using these, if you're using the case as a separate, uh, we do have a custom insert in this drawer that holds those uh, bolts. So now that our sides are joined back together, let's take a look at some features of this particular station. Uh, so looking at the return side here, the most obvious is a, an easel. Uh, so this particular piece right here um, can be raised. So if you're working on, or if you're reading documents off to the side, or you wanna draw, or you wanna have just a different work surface, uh, this can angle up. So this uses a ratcheting mechanism that can go all the way up to that high and then go down flat so that it matches with the work surface. Now we did add a little pencil block here on the end, so if you have a pen or, or something, um, when, the, uh, when this is in its upright position, it doesn't roll off. So looking at the work surface here, this is all black, um, black formica, so you can write on it and it's, uh, it won't add any texture to, uh, to your paper. Uh, so looking at this, there are two Ergotron monitor arms on this. Uh, one on the control side and then the other on the return side here. So again, if you want to operate these two as independent units, you can, or together it gives you a monitor right and left. So one of the most prominent features here is our control panels. Um, this is a unique request that the customer gave us. They wanted to have six outlets that were independently switched. So if a stage manager during rehearsals or something like that needs to control lighting, uh, either be it stage lights or, or even just work lights around the, uh, around the theater, they can with this central control panel. So uh, this is the, the top control panel. You can see that it's got um, six switches labeled one through six. And then on the bottom portion of the rack, which I'll show you here in a second, is just another uh, outlet bank. Uh, so, if you will notice, we have blue lights in the rack section and in the front and red lights in the back. Uh, the idea with this is, uh, looking at any theatrical application I've ever seen, most work lights in the back are gelled blue. So we wanted to have it so that uh, if the light needed to remain always on, the front lights were blue, and then if you needed to have work lights for the back so that if you either needed to get to this back um, power module, it's on the bottom there, uh, or you needed to, to adjust some piece of gear that's in the, uh, in the rack section during the show, you could do that with A without being distracted by a white light, and then B, you could also keep your night vision. So that's the logic behind the red and blue lights. 
So those red and blue lights are controlled by this top piece of rack gear, which we are calling the DSK LMAB lighting controller. Um, now this piece of gear, we've, we've, we've shot a video on this before showing this in more detail. So if you would like to see that, just take a look at the upper right hand corner of your screen for a, uh, for a link. But to show you some overview here, the lights are controlled in two banks, A and B. A is the blue lights on the front, B is the red lights on the back. Uh, and then we also are providing an 18 inch little light here that is dimmable. So that was a client request. They wanted a dimmable task light and they also wanted the rack to be illuminated. So we came up with the LMAB as a power supply module that is all inclusive. So, you know, the logic there was, if you look at projects like this, do you wanna have a bunch of toggle switches and weird kind of things like that? And we opted just to build a rack panel that was all inclusive. So there is one singular AC to DC power adapter that gives us 12 volt power. And because the LEDs run on 12 volt and the halogen dimmable, uh, work light runs on 12 volt. We were using a centralized power supply for that. So that was just a nice and easy, nice easy way to have that all self-contained. So looking at the exterior here, the, uh, the, the unit is built out of half inch Baltic birch um, that is finished with black texture coating. It does have four inch casters and it also has black hardware everywhere that we could we possibly could. So all the handles are black, but the uh, caster brakes are zinc as an example. So uh, here's what the front looks like. Um, I don't have any of the, the back uh, bolts in. This, this just finished up in integration, so it still needs to go through QC. Um, so this is just together for the sake of the video. So mind the gap between the, uh, the right and the left. That uh, doesn't exist in real life. Um, so the back portion of the rack does have this, this uh, custom vented hinge door back here. Uh, and we'll give this, have to put the camera down <laughs> to, uh, to open that standby. Um, I have to make an addendum here. Um, the exterior case is actually built out of three quarter inch Baltic birch, not half inch Baltic birch. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Um, but anyway, this is the door with it open. Uh, we're using very heavy duty South Coast slam latches here. Um, all the edges are rounded and broken. And this is finished with black texture coating. So looking at the rack section here, uh, this is the other portion of the switch module here. Uh, so again, this is custom built um, and it shows the six outlets. So um, each outlet is a duplex. So for each switch, you do have two uh, outlets, even though they're not uh, independently controlled, they are singularly controlled. Uh, so the way that that panel joins to the top is we're using a standard Socopex connector. Uh, so this is just a little three three foot Socopex patch cable that goes between the two units. Uh, it's actually kind of hilarious to say a Socopex patch cable, but that is what we are using. So you can see how nicely the back is lit up with red like this to make it easy to see. Uh, we're using concealable hinges um, on this particular door so you can't see any hinge hardware on the exterior of the case, which looks very nice. And there is a cable passage on the bottom for anything that's plugged in to, to come out the back. So looking at the return section, uh, we have a mirrored door uh, and this allows for, um, for storage in that section that I showed you earlier that has the front half removed. All right, everybody, that wraps this up. If you have any questions, you can email me direct, billy at lmcases.com or you can check the description in the bottom of this video uh, for some still pictures and just a little bit more detail on how this project works. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day.